Oh! So when did you find out that you could move your eyes like that? I tell people all the time, be careful what you ask for. Hi, hi, hi. Ooh, ooh. That's the toy right there, boy. Shit. What's going on out there, YouTube land? Today we're with the man, the myth, the legend, Chef Boy Bones. You guys have probably seen him. He's viral all the time. TikTok, Sheesh. Instagram, Facebook, uh -huh. Snapchat. Uh, you probably see him on America's Got Talent. Yeah, been on TV. He's also a rapper, does production. Uh, he was just telling us a story about he had some gummy bears one time when he was in the studio. Uh, but we're gonna leave the details out of the video for uh, that was crazy legal purposes. That was crazy, but it was a crazy time. Sheesh. So uh, you never you never gotten adjusted before? No, I've never got adjusted before. This is the first time. Okay, I've ever been adjusted. So we're gonna crack him up. Kind of nervous. He's a little nervous. He's he's uh, respectfully requested that I don't break his neck. God. So uh, he's like, keep saying it. <laughs> Say the <laughs> juju. <laughs> He'll be good. So if you guys haven't already, make sure you go over, follow him on his social media. Highly entertaining videos. I've seen him eating all kinds of snacks and Doritos. Oh my god, no way! Yeah, those. Yeah, those ones. So those you, got, really good you know ones. you've seen his videos, so don't act like you haven't seen him. But if you haven't, make sure to go follow him. Like I said, all platforms. Uh, today we're going to crack him up. He's a little nervous about the muscle work, but uh, should be able to make a few things pop today. We we'll make some pop today. I think we can do that. We'll just don't pop my neck. All right, let's go. Sheesh. But first, let's thank today's sponsor. Can you guys guess who it is? No, it's not a VPN. No, it's not a supplement. It's Raid Shadow Legends. If you guessed, they go ahead and comment below. Yeah, thanks again to Raid Shadow Legends. If you didn't know, this is the most extensive, in-depth, best graphics mobile game that exists. It has console level graphics. And of course, they're one of the best video games out there when it comes to sponsoring content. So if you guys want to see me crack more backs, you better go uh, download Raid Shadow Legends right now. And I'm gonna spell it out for you guys right now. So let's start with R. R, it's for ridiculously awesome graphics. If you guys haven't actually seen the gameplay, it's all over YouTube. They have the best graphics you could ever possibly see on a mobile device. I mean, look at these amazing bosses, the details, the energy attacks. I mean, you can see every little detail and it doesn't even slow down at all. I feel like I'm playing on a super advanced console, but the best part about it is, is it travels everywhere with me. A, A is for Astron. Astron is a flying, dual-wielding sword angel. He pairs well with countless licks as she will attack alongside Astron on his A1. He's one of the best champions of the game and you'll love him. I is for impressive. It's one of the most impressive games in its class with detailed models, environments, and smooth 60 frames per second animations. All the champions in the game can be customized with unique gear that changes your strategic buffs and abilities. The dungeon bosses have some ridiculous skills of their own and figuring out the perfect party and strategy to overtake them is a lot of fun. And D is for download. Download the game right now. Go ahead and check in the video description to find out more about Raid Shadow Legends. There you'll find a link to the store page and special code to unlock all sorts of goodies. But that's not all. Raid's fourth anniversary is finally here and there's tons to get excited about. I'm talking about dedicated offers, free gifts, promo codes, events, and brand new fusion event where you guys can get your hands on an anniversary themed legendary champion. You'll also be able to take a trip down memory lane with a recap video of your stats and raid. There's a bonus now for new players only. It's a special birthday package available after installation using exactly my link in the description. With all this exciting stuff and more coming to raid, if you haven't started playing yet, then what are you waiting for? Use my link in the description or scan my QR code to get insane bonuses. All right, so we're gonna go right here. So go ahead and look straight wait, down. Wait, 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 wait. Are we already getting into it already? Get into it. Hold on, let me breathe. <laughs> This is a little crazy here, buddy. I'm a little crazy. Wait till we get the hammers out. No, we're bringing hammers out? We're bringing hammers out. No, I man. thought you said you watched the videos, man. Yeah, I do watch the videos, but I think we're probably bringing the hammers out for this. Lord, save me! Get the hammers out. <sighs> Carlito, Eduardo, Gamero I'm, I'm Hill. Not, I'm not taking no butt shots with the hammers, though. Oh, so he has seen the hammers. <laughs> I'm not taking any butt shots So he has seen the videos. <laughs> All right, no butt shots with the hammers. <laughs> so let's go look straight down. So tell me about your rise on social media. Like, when did you know that you were going to be a social media star? And when did you get into hip hop? Um, I knew I was going to be a social media star. Oh, I'm nervous. Shit. Ah. I knew I was going to be a social media star uh, probably in like high school. I knew I was going to be big in social media. You know, I wanted to do that content create as I went to school for performing and visual arts. Oh, okay. So I kind of just stayed acting from high school and I uh, started rapping at the basement 818 when I was 17. So that's where I got into music, uh, mostly freestyle and battle rapping on stage with other artists. Ah, damn, that's crazy pressure points. And um, from there I started making my own beats, 
So I produce my own music, writing my own lyrics, songwriting for other artists. And um, that's what I'm doing now, just dropping singles and dropping, about to drop a few collective uh, bodies of work, a few EPs, few albums, few singles uh, a month for the rest of the year. On like Spotify or? Yeah, all streaming platforms. Okay. And, and where do they go to look for it? You can go find me on Spotify at Chef Boy Bones, C H E F B O Y B O N E Z. Okay, so tell me about your name. Where did you get that from? Uh, Bones. So, Bones uh, started, I used to be skinny. Okay. A little skinny, a little small kid, played wide receiver in, in high school, free safety, running back. And um, I started using Bones in music because when I first started making music, uh, it was like I've been on it and I never ever stopped it. So ever since I started writing and, and freestyling, so I picked it up and had a love for it, I never stopped. So Bones was an acronym first. Chef came along when I started cooking, just up making my own beats, making my own production, using more live instrumentation. Okay. The way I was whipping beats up fast was like, you know, comparing myself to a chef in the kitchen, how you cook it up from scratch. You know, I can make really nothing from, something from nothing. So that's where Chef Boy Bones comes in. Okay. Because a lot of people are like, Chef Boy RD, and I'm like, I don't think that's where that comes from. I... No, it's not Chef Boy RD. It's Chef Boy Bones. Remember the name. But in the kitchen. Remember the name. Sheesh. Ah! And how did the process go? Like, you know, you getting on TV. Because uh, I, I had heard you made somebody almost fall down. I did. I made, um... Ah, sh ah, ah, I can't even think of her name right now. Uh, America's Got Talent. So, so, Sophia. Sophia. Yeah. Nevada? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. I made her fall on stage. I was crazy. She had never seen that before in, in, uh, in real life. So she totally just fell on fans, and that was amazing. That's probably one of my favorite reactions of all time. Okay. And yeah. weren't you working on a reality show at some point, or? Yeah, I was working on a reality show. We actually just finished. Uh, season two. Okay. It should be coming out sometime within the next year, hopefully. Uh, we should be trying to drop that with Zeus or put it on Netflix or picks it up. Okay. But um, it's me, myself, Frenchy Baby. He's a triple jointed contortionist. Ah! Wide neck, long neck. My boy uh, Gucci Berry. Um, and damn! Ah! Shit! <laughs> this is a. Ah! And my boy Gucci Berry, so all of us together, we make the freak show. Uh, and my boy Holy God, I'm sorry. Um, all of us collectively have over shit, 20 billion uh, net worth. You know, we've probably done over 100 billion views, close to that, to collectively together um, on all of our platforms. So we all came together in a, rea in a, in a house and shot a reality pilot series of uh, that's how you're making it in LA as social media stars. What it actually is to be a social media star, what it takes to process that people really don't see behind the scenes okay. because they just see it on the phone. So we're just breaking it down in real life and showing you how we're actually uh, creating everything we do. And you're from LA originally? Yeah, I'm from Sherman Oaks. Okay. Born and raised, 818 baby, San Fernando Valley. Yeah. Gucci Berry, old big Gucci Berry. He's from Michigan, right? Shout out Gucci Berry. That's my twin. Me and him got his matching tattoos on our face. Actually, I got the freak show right here above my eyes, and we did. We all got freak show tattoos uh, once we finished the first show collectively because we did such an amazing job, and it was just something that we were really proud of that we've been working really hard towards collectively as friends and as a unit, okay. and able to get us all together and do that was amazing. So we all got tatted, and me and him got matching face tattoos. Hey, you are pretty tight through here, right? Yeah, I am. I'm stiff. Back day! Ugh. I'm getting swole. All right. I'm getting swole. Oh, shit. Lean to your right. And then come back to center. Oh, shit. Your right. Oh, shit. And come to the center. And again. Oh, shit. So do people stop you at the airport when you're walking around? Take man, the I, can't go, I can't go anywhere, man. Um, you know, it's funny, I used to, I, I would tell, I tell people all the time, be careful what you ask for, because <laughs> like I say, I've always wanted to be a social media star. And I used to tell my, yeah, I used to tell my friends and my family, and they used to like get mad and like, be like, shut up, like it's never gonna happen for you. And um, 
I just think since that what I did is so when it happened and and it actually became a thing and I was able to travel the world and go to different parts of the world I've never been and people know my name and come to me and want to take pictures it's just it's it's overwhelming sometimes you know I want to go back to being just incognito just a regular person that nobody knows that sometimes because incognito mode yeah incognito mode but I'm blessed and I appreciate all the love and I never turn down pictures with fans or anything like that you know I always make sure I take pictures with my fans I remember times that I've met uh, comedians or actors or musicians and they were too busy or Ooh. in a rush and didn't take a picture. So I always, Party make sure, yeah, I always make sure I take pictures with my fans. Okay. And so you were into hip hop. Like, who were the people that influenced you like growing up? Who did you, you know, what kind of music inspired you? Was there any specific artists that you really? Yeah, man. I listened to a lot of uh, Talib Kweli, a lot of Kanye West, a lot of Common, you know, Jay-Z. Mad Lib, you know, Big L, all that whole type of wave, you know. Pharrell's one of my favorite artists. Uh, who's one of my favorite artists? Neptunes. Mm. Um, for real? Yeah. Oh. Tupac for sure, Biggie of course. Have you got to meet anybody that you grew up uh, listening to? Uh, I have got to meet Common. Okay. Common's one of my favorite artists. Uh, Currency, nice. he's actually one of my favorite artists. I opened up for him. Back in 2017. Shit. Now you got that in common. Yeah. Have you produced for any anybody uh, that uh, that you grew up listening to or anything like that? Yeah, I produced some tracks for uh, Compton Menace. He's uh, one of the artists I grew up listening to. Really talented artist. I actually made a song with uh, Absol, one of my favorite artists. From Top Dog, TDE, we got a really fire song. Smoke Perp, he's kind of in my generation, though, he's one of my good friends, we got some really fire bangers. He's one of the gate holders to like the new generation music. Right. You know, with all those guys with Juice World and, you know. What's that genre say. called? It's not, a, it's not emo rap, what, what, what is that genre called? I don't know, it's like that Gen Z, like, it's like trap. It's like, it's a mix, It's a mixture of it, man, you know, it's- It's like it's, it's own. Mixture. Yeah. A lot of people have been like, it's like the alter it's like what alternative was to rock in the early 90s. This kind of is to, to rap now. Yeah, it's so much music out there. Yeah. So many people getting creative, just creating so many styles. So, okay. You were just, yeah. Scoot forward a little bit here. So, I'm going to put your hand on your hip like this. Now, pull that elbow back pretty hard. So, pull straight back with your left elbow. Ooh, damn, he's strong. So, you play safety? Yeah, free safety and running back, wide yeah. receiver. Hand here. Pull back hard. Oh, okay, that felt nice right there. Making it work here. All right. Relax that arm. Yeah, pretty good there. Mmm. Mmm. Go. <clears throat> go like this. Let's see. Relax a little bit. Pull back. Pull, 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 pull. Pretty good. Strong shit, huh? <laughs> Crack the middle. <laughs> this isn't going in the ass, is it? <laughs> Don't worry. <laughs> I know that. So I want to crack my ass, mom. What did I sign up for? This is bullshit. Keep this leg straight and raise it up off the table. Okay, bring it down. Left leg, same thing. Bring it down. This one, one more time. Okay. Bring it down. Left one more time. Okay. That one's easier? Which one? The right one? The left one? Or right one? Right one's easier. Okay. Raise this one up again. Try this one more time. There we go. How's that one? What the hell? <laughs> easier? Feel easier? Yeah, dig it easier. That's crazy. I'm walking it. He went to New York University. It's kind of a big deal. What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> that was you always insane. bring that up. <laughs> 
Someone got hyped oh, you up. Oh, yeah, man. I'm yeah, that was insane. That was insane. Me and Sean, we sweat you and him. Oof, everyone's a love boat. One more time? <laughs> we survived. Yeah. We're all right. He's right now? Yeah, they didn't get us. Yeah, it was, it was strained at first. Yeah, no, it was easier. Yeah. No, perfect. Why am I getting knocked? Oh my ass, mom! <laughs> I came to the wrong doctor! <laughs> this is not what I signed up for. <laughs> <laughs> this is not what I signed up for! It's Craigslist that bullshit. <laughs> that was that one. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it was pretty good. Yeah, we've actually had actually a lot of a lot of your friends on there from that show. We had Long Neck, Wide Neck, Gucci. All the necks. We didn't have side neck. Who? There's, there's a guy side neck. We <laughs> can't work with him. He's uh, a side neck. I think he had his neck broken at some point. Oh. Mm. Sideways. So he, every, every time we have one of the other guys, he's like, I bet you can't fix my neck. And I'm like, yeah, well, you're probably right. Wide neck, long neck, side neck. Yeah. Any other necks? I get to <laughs> reverse neck. <laughs> no, no neck Ed is the one we still got to get. Oh, yeah. That's From uh, 90 Day Fiance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good one. That's a show you need to get on a show. It was 90 Day Fiance, bro. Man, I would love to go on that show. How's that pressure right there? Ah, uh, it's extreme. Extreme. Extreme Couture. Ah, uh, same as uh. Extreme Couture, MMA, Las Vegas, Nevada. And if you guys out there aren't already following Dr. Carl's and Dr. Sean, I'm gonna link their YouTube Shit. below as well. Uh. They're here in Vegas. So if you're coming through Vegas, you're hitting the strip, make sure you come through here, get your back, your neck loosened up so you can go you know, I don't know if you guys go to uh, Magic Mike or whatever you guys are into out there. Magic Mike. Chip and Nails. I know you freaks be going to those kind of shows. Cirque du Soleil. Is that different? I don't know. They're all shows? They're all shows. They're all shows. Entertainment. Shit. He's got the thumbs of destiny. Holy shit. Oh. Look at him. Look at those triceps. Jesus. He's looking at his to I work out, man. I'm going all day long. <laughs> yeah, man, we'll be in the back, man. Right, Pull us, all kinds of stuff. Get some reps on you. Get some muscle ups, man. Yeah, did they, they, they finally opened up the, the public gym, like the park gyms. Remember Cali Muscle in the pandemic? Yeah, they go around and they like yeah. throw him out of the park and arrest him? That's, that's, that's my homie, man. Shout out Cali Muscle. Cali Muscle. Yeah, that's my boy. Us too. Cali's been on the show. Yeah, he's a good guy. Oh, 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 sheesh. Woosa, woosa. That's the spot. That's the toy right there, buddy. Sheesh. Ah. You gotta rub the furry wall with his arm. So reach up here, uh. overhead, and then bring it back down here. Ah. Dr. G, Dr. Oh, oh shit. Yeah, Holy shit. It's like Dr. Donatio, we decided we couldn't do that with him either. <laughs> oh. Yeah, it's like Yo. <laughs> It's not gonna work. <laughs> Crazy. Ah. Or will. Yeah. See, I don't stretch, but I haven't been stretching lately. Oh, shit. Oh. My boy is tight. Oh. Right there. Right there. Sheesh. Woo! That's crazy. I'm not gonna lie. I done had a lot of massages, man. And ain't none of them gonna get them nuts out like that, bro. The, that's crazy. Yeah, go deep. Oh! Oh! Yo! Oh! Oh, man. That's cool. Whoa. Uh, lift the left leg up as high as you can. Yeah. Good. Other side. Okay. How does that feel? Does it, which one can I lift higher? They both feel good, smooth, similar. Yeah. yeah. Same? 
Yeah. Yeah, looks good. Yeah. Way better. Do you want to stand up? Uh, shit. All right, both hands behind the head. Just cross your fingers. Let them fold right here. Relax. I'm going to pull you back. So a little trust ball back into my chest, okay? Relax. Ooh. Whoa. Yeah. Shit. Yeah, Whoa. Whoa. How's that? <laughs> God damn. What the more fuck? Alive, be more alive. <laughs> Whoa. All right, yeah. <laughs> oh. Whoa. I wasn't expecting that. It's like so, expecting. Mm, it sounded like I needed that. More <laughs> long time. So relax everything now, okay? Deep breath. All the way out. Okay. Didn't get much on that one. Other side? It's pretty tight. <sighs> Super tight, man. All right, let's try here. So hold on to this elbow. Get relaxed. Somebody watching on TV tell me the EGK super tight was good. A little more on that side. So wait, you've never do neck crack before? No, I've never had my neck crack before. Today might be the day. We might get it popping. Oh man. Might get a few things popping. Sheesh. Sheesh. Here we go. All right, drop that shoulder. And three, and two, and one. Oh my God! Oh, oh! How you do that? Oh my goodness! That was crazy. Sheesh! I guess we did get it to pop. Hold on! Yeah, it popped. Wow! Did you hear that? God damn! That was amazing. Oh my God! I feel good though. It did feel good. That felt great. Sheesh! Sheesh! Whoa! That was crazy. I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> yeah. Took it like a jet though. You're good. Man. Okay. Go this left side. Make sure you do a little lower this time. Drop that shoulder. Ooh. Oh, head off. Wow, crazy. I feel like uh, a brand new person. Here we go. Let's go, champ. Wow. Shout out to you, man. I've cracked a lot of necks. I've popped a lot of necks. Everybody's eyes popped. That was insane. That's a first. That was insane. This guy is a magician right here. He made the eye pop. That's the eye pop. Yeah. Who knew? They get Who knew? a pop, man. They get a pop for sure. Who knew? Sheesh. So when did you find out that you could move your eyes like that? Uh, honestly, I don't remember. Maybe in high school. It had to be around high school. Was I'm it an accident? It was an accident. It was an accident. I've always had really big eyes. Yeah. And um, shout out Kim Goodman. She's actually the world record holder for protruding her eyes out her head. Really? And all my friends always tell me like, man, you could do it. Like you could probably pop your eyes out like this lady. And I'm like, nah. So I'm you had seen it. somebody do it before? Yeah, I did. But it was never a thing on social media. I'd never seen it on any social media platform. Okay. But I did, I seen it. She's in the, you know, Ripley's, believe it or not, Guinness Book of World Records. So uh, yeah, I was in the mirror one day on Halloween and I was looking in the mirror and I pop my eyes out, but I, oh, shit. but I didn't do it the way I can do it now. Okay. I professionally have trained myself okay. to uh, do the eye popping skill that I do at this day and age. I thought we would have said Bloody it, Mary three times and then that <laughs> should happen. No, nah, not at all. It was, a, it was another story that we actually can't disclaim on camera like this. Oh, shit. Well, this is, yeah, it doesn't matter. It's YouTube. <laughs> I don't care. You guys know what it is. I'm a rock star. <laughs> So if you could put if you could piece that with the beginning of the video, then yeah, it you understand right. my music a little bit more. Yeah. So you started doing that. You started doing it on command, and then you started posting what like on like Instagram or no? I had never posted on social media before. It was just kind of like a talent that I discovered, and nobody really knew I could do it. Okay. I thought it was a talent at least because I thought it was odd, and anything that I think is odd is or weird is a talent. Right. That's, well, that's my definition of you. Okay. Have, I like that. You can do something odd or weird as a talent. However I, you I crack people's necks, so it's kind of... Yeah, that's, you know. a, that's a talent, you know? As weirdly as it is, you crack necks. Yeah. It's, it's dangerous, but... Next to one piece, right? Yeah. Didn't even break. Didn't even break. Yeah, my first video ever did a million views uh, on social media, so... And how many have on TikTok now? Like six million? Seven. Seven, Seven point six million now. But what made you decide to put that on social media? Um, so it goes back to me doing music. I'm a musician. I'm a songwriter, producer, and I'm an artist myself. And I was looking to get that platform. And in this day and age, you know, to be able to be an artist, you need a platform. Right. 
So a lot of artists don't you understand. You have to get attention first. Yeah, they don't understand content creation. They right. don't know you have to be a content creator, not just an artist. So I was just being a music artist, not a content creator. So once I figured out that content creation would help me uh, gain fans and get people to know who I really am, mm -hmm. it'd be easier to put my music, which is already my number one love. So And then you get a lot of brand deals and stuff like that, yeah? Yeah, all the time. All the time? Yeah, shout out all my brands, man. All right. Go like that. That's right, the grand finale. <laughs> what the fuck did I walk into? What the fuck did I walk into? <laughs> this guy's holding my legs, the other guy's got a towel on my neck. All right, bite down for me. Oh. Oh. <laughs> it felt that when I Brutal. Was oh, yeah, I felt that son of a <laughs> biscuit. Ah! Hi, hi, hi. Let's go. Jesus. Last one is going to get your ankles, too. We get your ankles, okay? Oh, here we go. Just relax here. Nice. All right, I'm gonna set you back up. <laughs> How you feel? I felt you guys just treated me like Gumby. <laughs> <laughs> what was this horse's name? I don't even remember. <laughs> Damn, I'm old. Yeah. I don't even remember Gumby, but yeah, I just got. We'll you call him the horse with no name. Horse with no name. It's what you ride when you've been through the desert. Through the desert. Yeah. <laughs> what was Gumby's horse's name? I can't remember. So drop in the comments below if you guys remember Gumby's horse's name. Make sure you go follow this man on all platforms. Chef Boy Bones. Check out his music. Big on, like I said, every single, is there any platform you're not on? No, not at all. Everywhere, Snapchat, TikTok, yeah. Facebook, yeah. Instagram. It's all shit with Yeah, we'll drop his links below for that as well. And then, uh, yeah, be a look at the next time. And uh, thanks for coming through. How you feel? Man, I appreciate it, I feel amazing. It was good? Yeah, cool. that was awesome. Beautiful. Awesome. Nice to meet you, my man. And then we'll catch you guys on the next one.